Actually, naming a baby startup is one of the hardest things that you have to do in the first couple phases because you don't even necessarily know what form your company is going to take, and it's really difficult to you know, put words on a paper to get a name. So well, it also, it, it's so much of the identity, right, of the startup is what you choose the name to be. It gives users a sense of what you're, what they think you might be before you even exist, and. Um, it's what you use to just get the word out from the beginning. We came up with the name TheMuse.com um, in about 48 hours. And actually our very first name was The Daily Muse uh, because we were focusing initially on the career advice publication part of the business and then we added the job listings and the company profiles that made up the full Muse later on. So um, this was summer of 2011. I had uh, just started thinking about starting this new company with two co-founders uh, and a number of other people who had helped with my previous company. And we literally put everyone on a Google group called The Inspired um, and exchanged 114 emails in 48 hours before settling on the name thedailynews.com. We, gosh, spent, uh, spent a long time trying to figure out the logo. Uh, we wanted it to be professional enough personal enough, inspirational enough, um, and just kind of have the right vibe to it. So um, very early on we decided we want to go with a typography-based, um, kind of text-based logo versus any sort of drawing or image. So we've had two taglines uh, since the launch of The Muse. The first in our very early days was work inspired, and the second is what do you want to do with your life? with its corollary and how do you get there. Um, the taglines are something we put a lot of thought into because it's a, a real chance for you as a brand to put a stake in the ground about who you are and what you stand for in a way that you can't always do in your name. And particularly since we decided not to have uh, the word career or job search in the name The Muse, we wanted to put that in the tagline. When we were originally coming up with the name for The Muse, there were a few different things that we thought about. Um, one of them is career confidant. We went back and forth over whether the word career should be in the site's name at all. We were afraid it would scare people off because it would sound a little dry, a little boring. People don't necessarily think that they want to think about their career unless you present it to them in the right way. And we wanted to do that with a dose of inspiration, hence the name The Muse. Um, but we did toy around with career confidant. We thought about a tagline that had kind of uh, talked about work smart, live smart. So this idea that we want to be there for you when you're working, when you're not in work, uh, with a real focus on your professional life. From a typography perspective, in terms of the design, uh, we thought there was something very kind of upscale and elegant we could have done uh, with the two C's, almost in the same style as kind of high-end, kind of Louis Vuitton, um, Yves Saint Laurent type of, um, of a logo that can have kind of this high-class aspirational element. Um, but at the end of the day, it wasn't quite the kind of aspiration that we wanted. The second one that we looked at was Onwards and Upwards, and we liked it because it conveyed this idea of a journey that you're on, you're kind of going towards a destination. When we were brainstorming this one, when we thought about taglines, we went with your path to the top to uh, really communicate that we were thinking about helping people get where they wanted to go. My biggest gripe with it was from an SEO perspective, honestly. Um, I always think about things like that, and not only was it incredibly long, um, but if you typed it onwards and upwards, who knows you know, how far down the list you would be. It would take quite a while to really own that search term. Um, it also didn't have as much of a personal and um, kind of humanizing element, I think. Plus the latter logo, we never quite figured out how we would want it to look. When we launched in September of 2011, feedback on the name was overwhelmingly positive. Um, and having worked at a startup with a terrible name before, I can tell you it makes an incredible amount of difference. So um, it's just been thrilling to see how the name has progressed. 